um, that's the key component to mountain biking. So we were doing a lot of balance drills. And so when you're out here, uh, when you're working on balance, I call it the ready position. And that's just, just being in that uh, kind of like a track stand like this. Your elbows are up. You got your legs ready to be shock absorbers. So anytime you come to a rocky section or a section you feel a little bit unsure of, just get to that position like you're ready just to absorb all the rocks and your bike's going to do most of the work but you want to be ready and balanced uh, the next thing that we worked on was braking and we just we worked on braking for an hour because that's the second i call it the second virtue of <laughs> of mountain bike skills uh with because you have to be able to control your speed so um the thing i would work on out here with braking is is applying both brakes at the same time. Your front brake is going to be your most powerful. So, and then you would also uh, want to you either be want to be on the brakes or off the brakes. You don't ever want to be in between. So, don't if you're going down a hill, I wouldn't be dragging your brakes. I'd be just going until you're ready to brake, and then and then brake, uh, and then just control your speed. So. Don't go out here looking to be as, I, I'd say, take corners as fast as you can. I would look to uh, work on your, on your skills and use your brakes to control that speed into the corners. And then the last thing is cornering, and that's what I really like out here. Uh, this cornering out here is a little bit different than what you're going to find at Fantasy Island or the 50-year trail or anything. And the difference is it's got rocks, and the rocks are stable. Uh, rocks they're in the ground for the most part where at Fantasy Island it's a little bit loose and then you have sand out at 50 year trail uh, so it's a little intimidating going into the corners here as you see the rocks and and uh, uh, you're anticipating that they may move on you but really they don't they just they stay there and you can just hold your line actually really good out here so it's, it's good practice but so the cornering, the, the, the things about cornering, so that's the main thing that I would practice out here, is one, look through the corner. So you always wanna look where you wanna go. Two, you wanna get low, get, get your upper body down towards your, uh, your stem here. Uh, you wanna lean the bike. So you're gonna lean here, your, upper, your body's gonna be up over. So as you get going through the corner, it's a movement like this. I'm pushing with my inside arm. And, I, and I'm here, so uh, you want to lean the bike, and then the last thing is to turn. So I would look to do that as you go into every one of these corners, is you want to look through the corner, you want to get your upper body low, and then you want to lean the bike. And if you just practice those things, and I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't do it with speed, I would just practice those things, and the speed is going to come along with that. So and that's, that's my general overview of it. Sweet. And we've been practicing all three of these things, and now uh, so we're coming here to the trails to put it to. We've been practicing in grass and 